Welcome to this X8R video demonstrating the installation of our Fiat 500 Clutch Slave Cylinder Connector Repair Kit. The metal coupler that connects the two clutch pipes often cracks and leaks out clutch fluid. This loss of fluid will lead to loss of pressure in the clutch system and result in the clutch pedal being flat to the floor. This X8R coupler is manufactured from 316 marine grade stainless steel the strongest and most durable material on the market for this component. The X8R kit also includes amalgamating tape, anti-crush rings, pipe inserts to strengthen the clutch pipes, and a bleeder hose to bleed the clutch system. Jack up the vehicle or load onto a ramp. Remove the wheel to expose the clutch slave cylinder connector. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the connector from the housing. Cut away at the clutch pipes using a hacksaw. Cut either side of the connector just after the bulges in pipe. Place an oil catch can underneath the vehicle to catch any clutch fluid. This is the old connector. You can see that ours has burst, which was causing a severe fluid leak. This was caused by road dirt buildup, which ultimately leads to rust. These connectors are also not designed to work under such high clutch pressure. To fit the X8R connector, start by fitting the pipe inserts. These strengthen the clutch pipes. Open the X8R connector and press the fittings onto each side of the clutch pipe, ensuring that the anti-leak crush rings are fitted over the pipes. Tighten both sides of the coupler by hand, then take two 17mm spanners and tighten as much as you can. Then take a 15mm spanner and place it in the middle and one of the 17mm spanners on the end. Tighten as much as possible. Repeat for both sides. Take the backing off the amalgamating tape and stretch it to activate. Wrap around the new coupler, ensuring the tape overlaps on itself. The tape is not sticky, it is designed to stick to itself. Please note, we have carried out this part of the repair on our workbench, but this can be done on the vehicle, as shown. Now we need to bleed the clutch system, but first we need to remove the battery and tray to access the slave cylinder. Unhook the battery terminals, first negative, then positive. Spray WD-40 on the nut retaining the battery strap. Remove using a 13mm socket with extension. Remove the strap. Lift out the battery. Disconnect the two ECU connectors.
Remove the battery mat. Spray WD-40 on the two bolts retaining the battery tray. Use a 13mm socket with extension to remove them. There is a 13mm nut underneath the battery tray, so spray some WD-40 on this and remove using the same tools. Undo all of the connectors and clips that hold the wires onto the battery tray. Most of the clips retain the ECU cables. Lift out the battery tray to expose the clutch sleeve cylinder underneath. Another fault we can rectify whilst we are here is to stop the squeaking clutch pedal. Spray some silicon lubricant on the shaft of the slave cylinder whilst someone else is repeatedly pressing on the clutch pedal. Remove the bung on the nipple of the slave cylinder and press over the bleeder pipe supplied in the kit. Press down the clutch pedal to release any excess air and fluid from the system. Open the cap of the reservoir and top it up with DOT4 brake fluid. Press the clutch pedal until you feel pressure under the pedal. If you had a squeaking noise, this should have disappeared. Replace the wheel and wheel nuts in a crisscross fashion and torque to 80 newton meters for steel wheels and 100 newton meters for alloy wheels. Replace the battery tray and battery. You will not have to worry about a radio code. This is automatically stored on these vehicles. Thank you for watching this X8R video. This item is now available to purchase via the link in the description. If you have any comments or questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the telephone number or email address on the screen.